The final race on day one is a three mile five furlong maiden chase, the four Amigos maiden chase. And at the top we've got a caster Malvis for Darren Thompson, classic Ben David Hooley, Cottage Rake, Craig Beckwith, Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerard, Moral Fact, Leon Van Rensburg, Timeline Veil, vale, Graham Clutterbuck, Trend Attitude, David Robertson, Wisdom, Alex Cherry, Wizard, Martin Leadham, Another Way, Obi Wan, and Madeline Rose for Padre Hogan, 11 this time. Including three or four back from last season. Obviously, away they go. Obviously, ones from last season that didn't manage to land in the winner's circle. And it's Timeline Vale who's going to be the early leader, I think. The only grey in the field. There's definitely been a lack of greys on day one. Well, that's just the way the races have worked out. I don't know whether people have not got grey horses this season, but there were quite a lot last year. And so far, I don't think we've seen more than about four all day. And they get over the second with Wizard, just the back marker. Eight caster Malbis leads over the third. Wrong Houston Obsessive and Wisdom. We get to the fourth, and a bit of a mistake there by the Padre Hogan horse, Madeline Rose. Houston Obsessive in the green for Vinnie Gerard, who's already had a winner today. As indeed have the two honeys inside, Darren Thompson, Acaster Malvis, and Wisdom Alex Cherry. All those three trainers have had winners so far on day one, with another way and trend attitude next, then Madeline Rose and Timeline Veil, vale. and classic Ben in the purple jacket of David Hooley, closest to us, who's had four of the 12 so far and towards the back Cottage Rake well, Craig Beckwith he's had a winner as well today and so too is Leon Van Rensburg who's also towards the back with Moral Foot so with the exception of David Hooley picking up four the wins have been spread about on day one as they get over number five and a mistake there by Moral fact for Leon Van Rensburg. That one is now the back marker. And there's A Caster Malvis leading into this ditch. Stood off it and has gone. A Caster Malvis really stood off that one and crashed out. And probably the most experienced horse in the field as well. I definitely remember commentating on that a few times last season. And what well, top yard he would have probably been quite highly rated. And he's out of the race. Over the next. Another mistake by Moral Foot at the back. And Wisdom. It's just about a head in front of Houston Obsessive in second. As they get over the ninth. Okay, all good over okay. Wisdom and Houston Obsessive are five clear. Of trend attitude in another way. The grey timeline veil is next. Then comes Madeline Rose on the inside of Wizard with classic Ben on its outside. And back over on the rail is Cottage Rake and finally Moral Fact. Who's made a couple mistakes over the next day go and all safely over that time and one inside the final two miles now and Houston obsessive landed in a lead we're on wisdom second wizard has now just been dropped to the back it's probably about 12 to 15 minutes off the leader as they get to the next and the leader's made a mistake at that one and now wisdom has gone on over the next good jump by Wisdom and Madeline Ross as well. Madeline Rose, sorry, has also come through really well into third place. With trend attitude back in fourth, then timeline veil. And moral fact getting closer. And passing the winning post in now. And they've got 
got one more circuit to go. So one more circuit to be completed on day one of week one of the fourth SO7 season, the 13th SO season registered on Tom and it's Wisdom who's in the lead. Well, Houston Obsessive in second. Madeline Rose in the yellow jacket on the outside of Trend Attitude. Then Timeline Veil, Moral Fact is creeping into it. Cottage Rake is also getting closer. Classic Ben trying to give David Hooley a fifth winner of the day. Just going to try and come round the outside. Another way is next. A mistake there by the leader. Has seen Houston Obsessive regain the lead. Field beginning to bunch. As they come down towards the final mile, they take this big ditch over it, they go, they all go over it nicely. Houston Obsessive in front, Trend Attitudes moves through to second, Wisdom is now third, Madeline Rose is still there, fourth, Cottage Rake looks to be going exceptionally well on the inside. Then comes Moral Fact and Classic Ben, Timeline Veil is next as they get over the 16th, Wizard slow at the back. And it's Trend Attitude who might just be the leader now. Over that one they go, Trend Attitude in front. From Houston Obsessive in second, Madeline Ross is third, then Wisdom, Cottage Rake still getting closer. Here comes Moral Fact and Classic Ben trying to come around the outside as they take the 18th. And over that one they go, bit of an untidy jump by another, by another way. But it's Trend Attitude who's just in front. Houston Obsessive though, on the inside, might come out of this turn in the lead. Also still there with the rail is Wisdom, trying to come round the outside is Moral Fact, wider still Classic Ben, there's still plenty of a chance, this cottage rake's being pulled off the fence as well to try and come round the leading group, even Wizard towards the back is starting to run on, but they're coming now towards the home turn, and it's just about Houston Obsessive, but Moral Fact on the outside might have taken it up then, Wisdom is still there, Cottage Rake is still trying to run on, so too's Trend Attitude, it's wide open this one, they've still got four to go, that's the four from home, and over it they go and Moral Fact is in the lead from Wisdom in second and one being pulled up there was another way another way has been pulled up over the third last they go they're all safely over the third last Moral Fact is in the lead by two Moral Fact is beginning to pull away Wisdom is in second then Houston Obsessive and Trend Attitude Classic Ben trying to run on over the second last it's Moral Fact who's gone three clear and Moral Fact comes down towards the final fence gets over it nicely gets away from it well Houston Obsessive is trying to chase Madeline Rose is trying to run on so too is Classic Ben they're not going to get anywhere near this leader. It's going to be a second winner of the day for Leon van Rensburg. A moral fact. Like his stable mate earlier, made a couple of mistakes, but has been classy enough to be able to win it. Racing up towards the race, a six length win for moral fact. Second is going to be close, but Houston Obsessive just hangs on for Madeline Ross and Classic Ben. Uh, Cottage Rake flattered to deceive for a bit. And uh, Trend Attitude might have come last, but it's. Another one for Leon van Rensburg, second winner of the day, second winner of the season. Takes it comfortably. With Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerard second, Madeline Rose for Padre Hogan was third, Classic Ben for David Healy fourth, and Cottage Rake for Craig Beckwith was fifth. That's day one of the new season in the book, and we'll be back tomorrow with another 13 races.